In this video, I'm going to show you two super cool tools that are currently on AppSumo. One's called Grout and one's called Minvo. Grout is going to help you create opt-in forms and funnels to sell your products, while Minvo is going to help you take your long-form video content and chop it up into short-form vertical content like TikToks, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, and you can use that to drive traffic to your offers, which you can create in Grout. So these two tools very highly complement each other, and they're pretty awesome. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick sampler of each of these tools, and I'm going to link in the description down below to a full walkthrough of each of these tools on my Limitless LTDs channel. And both of those videos, one for each of these tools, are over 40 minutes long. There's a lot of material, and I cover these tools front to back in those videos. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. And then if we go into Grot, Grout, GROT, we can take a look at how this all works. The first tab is analytics. There's nothing here until you actually publish a page and send traffic to it. Next tab is leads. There's nothing here until you actually start generating leads, as in people come to your pages and opt in and send you the email information, and then they'll show up here as a lead. The lead magnets tab, we're just gonna skip over for now, because pages is really where the rubber meets the road. This is the very first place you normally would go to create what you want to create. And you'd be creating, first of all, a lead magnet page where there's an offer for something that they can receive in exchange for their email address. And then you'd be creating a delivery page of that offer and possibly interstitial thank you page if you're doing double opt-ins. So if we go to create landing page, let's do that. Let's call this download your PDF today. They have some templates here. You can start with no template or choose one of these templates and adjust it to your needs. I'm going to choose, here's uh, thank you pages that I mentioned earlier. So we don't want those. We want um, actual opt-in pages. So let's just choose this one right here. This one right here. No, this one right here. Generate page. This name has already been taken. There's an error message that pops up in the dark up here. Let's change it to that and now go. And apparently they're working on using AI to create landing pages versus just using these templates. So we'll see how that goes. Each of these sections can be edited. You can just type in here, remove things, change things, start typing. So you can add and change text however you want. There's an undo button, I think. It just broke that into two different sections, even though I didn't want to. I don't see the undo button. Versions, there it is. So here we have current version. That's not undo, but we have version control. So if we were to publish this now, we could revert back to older versions because they'll be saved in here. So in here we can change whatever we want. Change images, change the styles, change the alignments, and it's all based on a block editor. This whole section, so we have these boxes when we hover over them, they're, um, they have a blue border. And outside of that, we have a larger blue border that's labeled section down here. If we click on there, we can change whether it's full width or boxed. Full width meaning it goes right to the edges, boxed meaning it's centered a little bit. You can adjust settings for the section itself. If you've ever worked with a page builder, you've, um, you're pretty familiar with this kind of stuff. Elementor with WordPress is entirely like this. So you can go through and keep mostly the structure how it is and just update things as needed for what you're working on. Or you can also add blocks. So we have a text block, a heading block, an image block, video, icon, button, code, and then widgets and lead magnets. We'll get to those in a little bit. Those are actually elements. Full blocks, we don't have any in here. But you can um, just click and drag all these things, however you want them, and bada bing, bada boom, we got a new element in there, and that's so easy it is to add things. This will be expanded on, I assume, because you, you don't need more stuff for your website, but it'd be nice to have more options. 
We can adjust our fonts globally. So all the H1 headings will take whatever you set here. All the H2s will take whatever you set here. That's always handy. Under settings, we can give the page a title. For open graph, we can provide information here that will give better link previews, especially when sharing with social media. And you can add custom code to the head or the body of the page, as in tracking code and tracking links. So for now, we're going to click on Publish. Make this page live. I also forgot to show you there is tablet mode, mobile phone mode. I don't believe you can make adjustments specifically to mobile phones. Like removing that gap would be a handy thing to have for mobile, but I don't see an option for that. Let's get back out of here. So we have our download page ready. Download your checklist today. Now we're going to create a thank you page. Thank you. And we'll choose one of these ones down here. This one matches that first page. Not that it has to, but it's always nice if it does to keep your branding and keep it consistent. Everything's the same in here as far as building the page goes and the options you have. So it's going to get back out of here because it's all the same as the checklist. And now we can actually create or start creating actual flow where people will come to this page here, they'll send traffic to your download page, and then they'll opt in and they come to your thank you page. So how do they opt in? If we go back to our download page, it's it's in this widget right here. I've already created one. It's called My First Widget. If we add that in, it adds in our widget, which has a nice photo here for the 17-point WordPress pre-launch checklist for beginners. This is a real thing, in fact, for my WordPress channel. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And you can opt in and get the 17-point checklist. But this is how I'd create things for my opt-in page. I would probably actually remove that and move this, if I can, over to there. It's not going to let me do that, is it? Let's add a block over here. No, I want it in there. It's not letting me do what I want. Add a block, widget. I want to add it where the picture used to be. It's not letting me do it. Let's just put it right there. So that's a minus point. I should be able to put things into this column. So I can put text in there. No, even the text. Gets a little goofy, doesn't want to go in that column. That's a bit of a minus point. I like to be able to drag things into that column even after I put them on the page, have some way to drag things around, not just take a screenshot like it's doing right now. So that widget that we're working on, we build those in the widgets. We come over here, click on Create Widget, call this opt-in call to action maybe. We could have it be embedded or be a pop-up. A pop-up being activated when someone clicks a link, an embed being like the one we just saw. I'm going to choose the pop-up since we saw the embed already. There's three different options, sorry, four different options. And I'm going to choose this one right here, Create Widget. And you can change these things similar to how we did in the, the page builder. We have our text over here. We can't click into here directly and edit things. We've got to click on over here and edit. So we can update the title just like that by typing it in there, typing it in there. And then we need to click on this back arrow. If you click on that back arrow to get out of here, you want to click on that one to go back to our list of things. And then we update all these as needed. Under settings, we can change the layout and the background color and things like that. Under triggers, we determine when this pop-up will be triggered. And right now we want it to be on click. Delay would be when you're on a page, you set this to five seconds or something. And as soon as someone is on a page longer than five seconds, the pop-up will show. Super annoying. I don't recommend you do that. On exit is when their browser, sorry, the cursor exits the browser window field. So the window being where the website exists. So if, you, if I move my mouse up to here, up beyond the browser or the website itself, trying to go to my back button, that's when the pop-up will appear on exit. 
on scroll. We can decide how far I want them to scroll. So 50 would be 50% of the page would be how far they scroll. You can actually enter a number there. You have to use the scroll widgets to choose the on scroll distance. But 50% would be 50% down the page as the scroll. You can have multiple of these turned on. I'm going to just use as or use on click, I mean. Rules allows you to conditionally determine where this is allowed to appear. You can have it allowed on specific pages or restricted from certain pages. Most of the time, I don't think you'd need that, but it's there if you do. Over here on the right, click on active. Active now. I prefer to say activate, but that's just me. Come back out of here. We've got our opt-in CTA. Now we can go back to our pages and we can go to download your checklist and go to here. And I'm actually going to delete this because we're doing uh, the pop-up this time. So we're going to add a button. Let me add a button. There's a button there. Let's delete this icon. Download the checklist today. Click here to download the checklist today. Get a pretty big button there. That takes us to the end of the grout sampler. There's a link to the full walkthrough in the description down below if you want to check that out. And now let's check out the sampler for Minbo. Well, let's check out the app itself. Inside of the app, you can create various brands. This is new as well. When it first came out oh, two weeks ago, you couldn't do this. You couldn't even find your videos where they're posted. Now you have this drop down here where I've got the WP Learning Lab brand right here, which is my other channel. You can check that out if you want to. It's all about WordPress. I'll link to that in the card up above or the description down below or both. I don't know. But I put a video in here. We'll check out what the results are in a minute. And this is the kind of video where I was saying that it's not great for this kind of tool because it's not conducive to vertical video, unfortunately. And then I made just for today, for this, for this video now, an interviews tab or an interviews brand. And he, in here, we're gonna upload a video. Gonna add video via a YouTube URL. I'm just gonna add this Joe Rogan one here. You have to have a video at least five minutes long. So I took one that's 509. Any shorter than that, and I guess they can't pull out enough clips. So we paste that in there. Let's import this to, okay, I messed that up. I was confused by this down here. Import from previous channels. Just don't worry about that. Import from that link. And now the video is being imported. They're going to go out and download it. They are giving us some options here. Moment duration. I want 30 seconds. AI instructions. I wonder what you do there. Make the moments, which is what they call their short segments. Great. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see, we can magic frame, which is when the camera automatically moves to who's speaking, which is great for interviews, not great for tutorial content. You can add magic emojis to the captions. You can add magic media, which overlays B-roll. We'll turn that on. You can magic cut, which deletes filler words and silences. You can magic emphasis, which highlights important words. And I should have zoomed in on this a little earlier. You can define colors, primary, secondary, tertiary to match your brand if you want to. You can also do this in the brand setup. When you go to add new brand, uh, no, you can't. Let's give this a name. New brand, you can give it a logo here. Choose the default language and continue. Oh, I thought you could pick colors in your new brand. You can't. Um, so let's get back to where we were. So these colors can't be defined in the new brand. As far as I can tell, we can define them here. And these would be, I think, the colors that are associated with the captions and things like that. I don't know what else they'd be coloring. Then click on Create Shorts. And now it's going to analyze the video and chop it up and make shorts out of it and add the captions, do the transcriptions, and the whole nine yards in the background. We can safely leave this page. Let's go back to videos. So to navigate, I feel like it's, it's kind of tricky up here. I mean, once you know it's here, it's not that bad. But it'd be nice to have a drop down over here to pick your brand. So if we go to the WP Learning Lab brand, click on the thumbnail to view the moments. We see why this isn't conducive to my type of video. Let's see what this changes. Nothing. When, when Opus does this, they'll put this video 
full screen. So this is the that gray, light gray outline, if you can see it. That is the outline of where a YouTube short or a TikTok video would be, or an Instagram reel, or whatever you want to call it. A vertical video would fit into this gray bar or this gray outline. And they just shrink down the video to this size that we have right here, whereas Opus does it full screen. Let's see if I can log into my Opus account so I can show you. I think when I was using Opus, it didn't even have email. It was very weird when I started first started using it. And we're in. My trial has expired. But I'd like to see my videos. These are demos down here. I did not upload those. I just don't think I did. I don't recall uploading those. Um, so my clips are all gone. Let's see if we can open the demo. So here we have square for the size. Oh, here's a vertical. So it takes his video and makes them vertical, even though it's a tutorial video. And it looks like it might even, I don't know how he did this, but it might even be the top part is the screen capture and the bottom part is his face to camera in the corner of the video. Let's see if we can see the original. Good old Nick Nimmin. Um, hard to tell. Hard to tell what's going on there. Either way, whatever they're doing, Binvo currently isn't because they make it like this. They don't try to make it vertical, they just make it like this. But when they're doing this, uh, ideas from Opus, viral scores, preset templates, word by word popping captions, auto B roll. So they're not referencing any kind of make the video vertical no matter what. That's okay. So we have from this video, which I believe was six minutes, the original one, we have 10 clips. We can click into or click on them to watch the clip itself. Now, don't mind that X that is not part of the video itself. You can see there's emojis, the captions are popping, it's got colors, it's got stuff going on for people with short attention spans. If we go into the editor, let's uh, do all these next tips here. We have like a full timeline editor, which is pretty slick. And maybe we can make this video larger right now. Ah, you can. So even though Minvo itself doesn't do it, you can come in here and edit the, the video itself, um, full video, so that it only focuses in on a certain part, which is also hard to do because uh, currently my mouse is right up here, but it moves around throughout the video. And I don't think they have keyframes at this point where you can have the um, the camera pan around, but maybe they'll be adding that. So back to the transcription over here. This transcription may have errors. You can edit any of them. Let's just delete this whole first part here. I don't really want that. Next up, click on this video up here, which is the full walkthrough for Grout on my Limitless LTDs channel. And down here is my full walkthrough for Minvo, also on the Limitless LTDs channel. You're not gonna wanna miss those two tools. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And also make sure you subscribe right over here to my Limitless LTDs channel. It's well worth subscribing to because I do just tool walkthroughs and I think they're pretty useful. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.